Welcome back to my Let's Play for Digimon World Dusk. Instead of taking the next Union Quest, I figure we should head over to the Coliseum and try to take the next Advancement Test. Though I expect this is going to be ugly. I wasn't really strong enough to take on the next boss very effectively. We'd have to chip away at its health. I can't imagine taking the next Placement Test is going to be much better. Because the enemies in that I'm going to be facing off against are probably all going to be ultimate or mega level, knowing my luck, so they're going to be a pain to take down quickly. But, I suppose it's going to be a bit faster than taking on the next boss, hopefully. I did bring along some better healing items for this, so hopefully we're sufficiently prepared to pull off a win here. Hmm. Kaiori, huh? I'm curious why you call yourself a Silver Tamer. Why would you not identify yourself by your own guild association first? And why do you want me to call you K? Are you part of the men in black? Is Kaiori just a cover name? Or is it your old name before you lost your identity? Eh, I don't really like wimps either, but I'm pretty wimpy in comparison to you. Which is why I'm going to have to use a lot of healing items to make up for it. Honestly, all these guys are pretty darn annoying, and I'm going to regret not healing up first. I'm going to try and put these two both to sleep. If I get lucky, it'll stick. I recognize that Betamon from the first series, actually, with Izzy. We also got to see Mega Kabuterimon in that episode, too. Let's see now. Um, I don't want to wake you up. This thing has drain. I'm not gonna be focusing on it just yet. So I might as well smash this thing. Hmm. Let's see. Defense down. Right. I want to get rid of this thing first. It likes to spam a lot in negative status conditions, so it's just best to get rid of it early if you can. Sure, the Parasmon, or how you pronounce it, can drop poison on you, but you know what? I'm stuck on that thing, but that's more tolerable than what that thing does, man. Um, try and put it back to sleep. Try and put you to sleep. Because this thing likes to spam paralyze. Give him half a chance. Damn it. And we missed it. Well, help Poe out. Uh, everyone gets defense lowered. Pollen spray. Great. <sighs> Try and hit you hard, man. Oh, yeah. What do we got coming up here? Ow. Well, since I can't trust that my next Digimon's actually gonna get an attack, we're gonna go for healing. Figures. Like I said, let us paralyze. Hmm. 
Um. There we go. Get everyone back into MP heaven there a bit. We'll go with healing. And this battlefield playing cautious is to our advantage. Stupid paralysis. <sighs> this is not going well. Oh good, since I'm poisoned, I can now go back to shooting moon night beams at pe moon night bombs at people. Okay, I'm gonna try and sleep you and you. No luck. I'll take it. If I take out at least one of these guys, the rest of this fight will get much easier. Come on. Ugh, if only Neil Spray could drop poison. Shoot. And decreased our attack, too? Man, you fight dirty game. That's my job. Okay, try and sleep tactics again. Well, they seem pretty immune to it. I think if it is successful, I'm probably gonna have to heal anyway. Okay. Okay. I got you now. Right? Come on. Hit. Oh, yeah. That connection is over. One down, two to go. Focus on Millennium on here. Damn, my attacks don't really hurt him. You sleep. Okay. Try and get him to sleep again. Hmm. Wonder if my thumbnail for last episode of Infinite Space was a bit clickbaity. Showing a guy choking his sister. And that's what's going on at thumbnail if you're actually curious. Guy's choking the life out of his sister. Yep. Um, let's see. Horrible. Item. I need to get more. MP back, too. Hmm. 
Yeah, having more MP would have been helpful. Shoot. Well. Guess I can try and put him back to sleep on my turns. I show him what with healing. Sleep's not very reliable here. And I don't want anyone to die on my downturn either. So I gave up three potentially good attacks for this. Yep, I was definitely sloppy. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll use that. Save the T1 for later. Get rid of you so you stop messing with my turn order. Poison, you jerk. You can't stack negative status conditions, really. I only have one primary, and that's it. Some of them seem to override others. Sort of like Pokemon, only not when you can't really override a negative status condition, I don't think, or can you? It's been a while since I've played some of those, you know? Um, poison? Nope. Okay. And he changed the order again. No, he didn't. I'm just thinking he did. It was my mind. Okay. Stay strong. Half the battle's over. Well, it doesn't really matter which move I make here. Come on, sleep! You can do it! Oh, yeah. Ah, he's whispered a dark secret into our ears that ruined our spirits. And that must have been one evil secret. Like, you don't even want to know what he said, probably. It's just that evil. Don't die until the last one, please. Oh, yeah. Let's see, um... Soulful Kick. Hmm. Guess we can try and go for sleep. May not be effective, though. it worked on the first one and now it's not gonna work on the second one right right well so it doesn't really matter anymore you know, always on my next turn here. Man, 
Man, I was hoping for a bit more damage than that. Ugh. Jeez, this thing's tough. Come on! Crit for the win! Okay. If you plus 200. And let's finish this with a needle spray. Come on, you can do it, needle spray. Don't make me have to spell win out in binary. Dang. Paramount gained seven levels. Jeez. <sighs> Someone's probably going to have to be leveled up. Yeah, I'll get rid of Raging Darkness for healing. If only just... I need to be strong in order to call myself a tamer. Uh, not really. But at least we made it to the silver level, I guess, right? I mean, if the silver test was this hard for me, I can't imagine even trying to go to the next rank. I'd probably get schooled hard. Let's go back home then. And see what we can do with Renamon. I might end up just degenerating her actually. And then build her up even stronger. I don't know. I'm torn. Uh, let's see. And we can probably make someone else to fill in our back ranks, too. Um. I don't know. Agumon is an old favorite, so why not? You shall be known as Ty. And... Also, I want to do. I do have a soft spot for Buamon since it is a bird type. I think I can turn this into another Ramon. And Ramon's awesome, so. Let's bring in Gummymon. Well, there we go. Okay. You're still too weak, aren't you? 
Yeah, I gotta reach level 33 first. I have to digivolve backwards on that first, huh? Same thing with these guys. I'd have to get them up to like level 33 before I can do anything. Oh, uh, great. I guess you have to level 23 first. And you need Spirit of 125. Man. This Digi Evolution stuff's a lot of work. So I can take you into Groudmon, Terriermon, or Tapermon. <laughs> now I'm curious, what does Coralmon and all go into? So do that into a Dot Agumon. I'd have to have a Dot Agumon? Yeah, I can't do anything with this yet. Darn it. I guess that's something to work on, right? Till next time, then. See ya.